All right, guys. Can you hear me? If you can, say something. <laughs> Chloe, you want to be in this too, or? I already put her in it. Oh Gotta get that thumbnail. This one always gets me views. <laughs> you guys like me to be sad, I guess. So, pros and cons of LA. Mukbang. Ooh, yeah, this is a Baconator. I guess lettuce wrap is what you'd call it. Um, so like I said, first and foremost, a lot of you think that I, li I left LA because I'm like broke and I just can't afford it. That's not true. Don't ever disrespect my hustle, okay? How dare you? But I think a lot of people forget when you are lucky enough to have a big following thanks to you guys, brands still pay money. So even though YouTube checks ain't hitting, brand checks are hitting, you know what I'm saying? But the pros and cons of you living in LA, I live the Hollywood lifestyle, so I can't say like I live. There's, you know, every little town has its own type of vibe. I lived in Hollywood, so the Hollywood experience, which is basically dirty. You pay a lot of money. Always some crazy bum going crazy. That didn't make any sense. There's always some dude just going crazy up the street yelling. And that's why I wouldn't recommend it. If I was to move back, I would probably live in like Culver City, Westchester, or I was personally looking in like the Santa Monica, Venice area, even uh, Del Rey. I really like that area. I kind of wanted to be like closer to the beach just because I like it. And I also like Glendale. Glendale kind of reminds me a lot of home. But as far as pros, I would say Everyone's there, you know, any opportunity that you could possibly want is there. Whether you want to be a model, a singer, actor, YouTuber, work a specific job, you know, you make a lot of money there, but you also spend a lot of money there. And that's kind of like the main con of it all. Like, yeah, me moving there probably got me like more deals, but it got me enough deals to be able to go home and probably live great and only make me like learn more. It taught me how to have time management because that's so important in LA just because of the traffic it taught me how to financially be better at you know saving your money because it's so easy to get caught up in like this lifestyle that they live in LA of wanting these cars and clubs and I don't know it's all fancy schmancy I'd rather have like a big modern home in the suburbs nice car family and keep it moving like that's what I want Everybody's different, you know, I have a bunch of friends that live there and I'm with living the L.A. lifestyle. Like in L.A. it could be Tuesday and people are like, oh, let's go party, you know. I guess it's kind of like that everywhere when you're, an, when you're an adult. But L.A., there's an event every week. So many people to meet, you never know who you could be in the elevator with. It's just like networking 101 in L.A. There's the cons. Everything is overly expensive. Gas, how much was gas? $5. It's 2.95 here. It's probably like 2.90 in Colorado too. You think? Yeah, in Vegas. In Vegas, it's expensive too. Yeah, but like either way, I'm taking a bite. What kind of mukbang is this? Y'all want to hear some crunch action, don't you? I got a Chloe. What are you doing? Hmm. Got burgers. Decent. Y'all hear that? Mmm. It's good. Mmm. It's delicious. How's your ears trash? Another con of LA is, you know, there's a lot of fake people there that are opportunists and they only want to use you for what you have, not for who you are as a person. No, no, I was luckily enough, I wasn't surrounded by those kind of people, but they're there. Big time. Yeah. They're not even on every corner, they're on every street. Homeless people? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of homeless people there. Um. Yeah, Hollywood is especially dirty. 
And people try to tell me, oh, Mike, you paid 3000 for your apartment. You could have got this and that. But it's like, yeah, you can get something cheaper, but it's all about how you want to live. I personally, you know, I learned it from my mom. It's just like, you only live once, so why not live your best life? The whole, like, you know, let's say, like, Gary Vee or any entrepreneurs are like, you know what, you got to, you got to, like, eat dirt for a couple years. No, I don't agree with that. I feel like you should work extremely hard and you should live, work and play hard in my opinion. Like, that's how it should be. So I like, I've, I've been working hard. I did what I needed to do to get to specific points and I need to keep working. I got complacent, but you know, to keep selling, I like adding on responsibilities for myself. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to be 28 with like no kids, no house, no like car, you know like how to- Obviously, you still want an average life. Yeah. The best, okay, I don't want an average life. I'm still want to live an average life. I don't, personally. I guess for me, it's not for everyone. But in order, yeah, I do want to be a little bougie. But in order to be, Gary Vee said this like amazing quote, Special people, yeah, bougie and humble. There's nothing wrong with that. I like drinking smart waters. I don't drink out of the sink. YOLO. No stores even sold smart waters. Yeah, that's weird. We've been having to drink Arrowhead water. It's been tough. <laughs> but special, no, to have a special life, you have to do special things, you know? And if you just really analyze that. Who? What? You. What average people have special lives? They enjoy like. Who? Just being average. Yeah, that's why I said it's well, not for. Like, who does it have to be? Does it have to be a celebrity? Uh uh-uh. uh. Celebrities are. They got problems. They're on cocaine. You need to be mic'd up. I don't even know if they can hear you. They're doing meth. My mom said celebrities doing meth and cocaine, which is true. Die early they're depressed. They're now, those are people, but... All materialistic things aside. All you can do is live your best life. Yeah, my mom said all you can do is live your best life. Chloe's trying to back up. Back up. <laughs> yeah, be a good person and just find your joy. And. I think that's what LA's taught me. I know I've been like all over. Maybe I'll do like a sit down to really go over the pros and cons of LA. It's just more of we chilling, eating, good talking. Things come to good, people. good things come to good people, but also oh, look what's happened to you in the last like six months. You're a good person. Yeah, I mean you walked out of accidents, it's fine, so I guess that's kinda normal. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Smug Bang would probably be better if they could hear you. It was good though. Yeah, I wonder how loud the audio is. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Can you drive? You know what I mean? When I drive, I'd be like, this burger's getting better as I eat it. See, that's how the, the one at, um, what's that place? Carl Jr. is supposed to be. Carl's Jr. Jr. is trash and I'll never have it again in my life. Don't lie. Don't what do I gotta lie? Ain't nobody put a gun to my head and say I gotta go to Carl's Jr. If it was the last place on earth, I'd go find the cow and shoot it and cook up a real burger. I grew up on a farm. I grew up on a farm. I know how to. Huh? My grandparents. I'm no reason. Pluck a chicken? Do I know how to pluck a chicken? Yeah. No, you don't. 
Okay, I do. How? What do you do? How do you pluck a chicken? How do you kill the chicken first? Chop his head off. Then what? You clean it. How do you clean it? With a knife. No, how do you get his feathers off? Rip them off. You rip, you cut, no. you cut down the chest and rip no, the feathers off. Yeah, you do. I seen Brian do it. You put it in water. You get, I'm gonna water. have all these hate comments of people. You abuse animals. <laughs> I'm disliking this. I pushed Chloe in my on foot. Someone's well, like, they eat chicken. That's how it works. <laughs> if you eat meat, they don't do nice things to animals. I love animals, but I'm also hungry. I gotta show you this. Did I just show you that one I said to grandma? The, the man standing up, he's walking. Chicken? Chicken. They're, they're chicken that they have at the farm? No. Oh. It's just them. All right. I'm gonna teach my chicken how to do that. I'm getting off topic with the cons of LA. Wow. The traffic? Yeah. All right, so let's just list out these cons real quick, Kurt, because I know y'all like, yo, what are you doing? I can't believe you're still watching, bro. You're a real one. Thank you. I know I'm all over the place. But cons, LA's expensive. I don't care what nobody says. They're trying to say, oh, you can get a two-bedroom for $1,000 in downtown. Where are you living? Because trust me, I looked everywhere. I have friends that told me where to live, and I chose to live in the luxury, whatever. I'm not living where I got to go down in the basement to wash my clothes. I don't care what you say. It's not normal. Not sharing a bathroom. I wanted my own. I didn't want a roommate. That's what I wanted. It's not a big deal, you know. But cons, it is expensive. Traffic is terrible. There are some very shady sh people, like, people are just mean, ruthless, which I mean, they're like that everywhere, but LA, especially cutthroat. And really, those were my only cons. The air quality is terrible, too. But other than that, I, I loved it there. I have no complaints. I would definitely go back. If I were to move there, I'd probably move like more in the outskirts in a suburban area because I just love the weather. But that's it, man. If you want to move to LA, I'll make a dedicated video that's more like sit down and audio is not all crazy. But leave your guys' questions. See, I told you every time I order food for someone, it's always wrong. You said three piece. I said three piece chicken. You're like, oh, yeah. Wait. I said three piece chicken and you agreed. I said wings. Wings what? What's wings? Like hot They're wings? Chicken wings. God, I hope they can hear you. Is that good over there? Mom and son. I'm eating Wendy's. How's that? Alright. Want some? No, I don't want none. Leave your guys' questions about LA. That off. And I'll answer them the best of my ability. You skipped all around when you're telling time. You're not a very good story. Okay. Well, maybe if you want to change the subject. Could you shut that off? No. Let me hear you chew a little bit. Get out of here. Almost choked. Don't do that. How are you going to choke because I hit you? I didn't really think of that hard. My mom's the type of person to be driving in traffic in LA, cussing at people, no, flipping not. them off, flipping the wrong person off. Don't say that. And Grandma watches that. What does that have to do with anything? You said I'm the type of person that flip people off. Yeah, flipping people off in the car. I do? Yes, you do. Grandma watches. You better stop it. What does that have to do with anything? She flips people off and I'm like, Mom, you, you cannot do that around here. Like, people will shoot us. You are such a liar. How am I lying? What, what does lying do for me? Do Plenty of times. We were in the parking garage in Burbank and you're flipping someone off and we drive in the garage with them. I'm like, they're gonna, how are you gonna feel if someone shoots me because you're flipping them off? Oh my God, we're gonna die. She's too busy looking at me. You're being way 
far-fetched because that is not true. You act like you drive like a gym. <laughs> yeah, I'm like an interviewer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let her eat.